says Paul, yes. Mm -hmm. um, just so we know, okay, yes. When you arrest me for probable cause arrest, mm -hmm. where there was no possible way that I was in Squim, Washington, yeah. And I spend two and a half years emailing you the crime of false arrest, false imprisonment, and the refusal to enforce my rights as an American citizen. Mm -hmm. And your idea is that you do not have to enforce the laws. You are going to go to prison. Now, I know that you really spent a lot of time covering this up, but I, as an American citizen, am really very wealthy. I really am. See, I've spent three years documenting the crime of taking my sons where the state says the protection for minors has exclusive continuing jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't have exclusive continuing jurisdiction without the enforcement of the laws. You can't say we have continuing exclusive jurisdiction when you use forgeries of the ex-official superior court clerk to issue protection orders. Mm -hmm. You just can't do it. Now, I have told you thousands of times. It's an obvious forgery. This state is holding my sons from me. Yeah. And you, as a state, are getting sued. Mm -hmm. Why don't you get me every oath of office in the state of Washington? Because I will sue the governor. I will sue every person in the state legislature. <laughs> I will sue the legislature as a body of elected officials right now. You cannot have exclusive continuing jurisdiction when you use forgeries to issue protection orders. Now, I am going to sue you. The state never had exclusive continuing jurisdiction. Mm. Heidi wasn't a resident of the state in 2011. I wasn't a resident of the state, and my sons weren't residents of the state. Now, when we look at exactly what you have done, mm -hmm, it is very criminal to take children from their parents without jurisdiction. Do you understand? It is criminal to take children from their parents without jurisdiction. Every oath of office in the state of Washington is going to be sued right now. Allowing for this county, yes, to say that for the protection of the minors, this state has continuing, exclusive continuing jurisdiction mm -hmm, and is the home state. I documented that when Benjamin was born on Guam, my actual domicile was Guam, as was Heidi's and my son's. Mm -hmm. Now, for the protection of the minors, this state is refusing to enforce my custody rights, and this state <coughs> knows that they are in the wrong grade in the Quilcene School District. Now, for this state to say that for the protection of the minors, we are going to continue to retard their education because of the refusal to enforce the laws of the United States. You had best understand exactly how much money we are talking about today. Now, every time you laughed about, oh, it's a multi-billion dollar day, mm -hmm. it does not protect the minors named, yes, for this state to refuse my custody right, right now. Because I'll tell every fucking <laughs> state, every one of you can go to prison. Now, the truth is, the protection for minors, okay? Mm-hmm. This state does not have exclusive continuing jurisdiction mm -hmm, and was not the home state of the five minors named. Yeah. 
Now, I have used the documentation from the newspaper to document that my sophomore, yes, Zachary Budnick, is going to be 17 this month. And your obstructionist bullshit is going to find every oath of office in the state sued and imprisoned for not protecting the minors named. Now, obviously, oops, Brent Baston, yes, when you took it upon yourself to issue this protection order, mm -hmm, where my five sons are in the wrong grade, and not just one grade, they are two grades behind where they should be. You're going to prison. Do you fucking understand? You're going to prison. It does not protect the minors named to continue to enforce this order for protection. Where you've had me arrested multiple times when you did have the evidence that I wasn't in Squim and I wasn't in Brennan. Now, this whole concept of you saying, 